Hey guys and welcome to Technology. This is your host Salman and today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to install a RAM. This is the 4GB RAM that I got DDR4 2133 megahertz uh, high speed RAM for my all new HP Pavilion 15. So I showed you already an unboxing and everything so now I'll be showing you the installation of the ram how you install the ram on this um this can be also used for any other laptop but uh, this is especially for this one because it has a special opening procedure it doesn't open as easily as other laptops so firstly what we are going to need to do is obviously um go ahead and open this uh, compartment here as you can see you do not have like a, a smaller space like most laptops for just you know unscrewing it and easily installing it so you have to open the whole thing and install the RAM. So I know it's a little bit of the it's a little bit of a tedious process, but it can be a little bit delicate and it's not straightforward that you just remove the screws and take this out. You have to, you have to pry this open. And one more thing, it doesn't void the warranty because you're obviously allowed to upgrade the RAM and to upgrade the RAM you have to open this. It's okay, so we're gonna open it. I'm gonna show you how to open it and I'll be upgrading it with a 4 GB card. Um this costed me around eleven dollars. Um, I was going to get an 8GB one to make it 16GB but then that was like $40 so I was like uh, instead of spending $30 more I think 4GB will be enough so total of 12GB I'll have now after installing this so let's go ahead and open this and then we'll uh, install the RAM so I'm going to be using a bunch of screwdrivers different screwdrivers I'll try which one works so basically I'm going to be using the Phillips head size uh, screwdriver over here I think this will work properly for this one yeah this should work so this one first screw opened and I'm just going to you're just going to need to open all these screws all around whatever is there and there are two screws under this as well under one of these rubbers uh, there are screws so you're gonna uh, unscrew that as well okay guys so I've got all of these screws out it was slightly difficult to get this one out for some reason I don't know why and I might have stripped it a little bit but not an issue um, now some models do have screws underneath these rubbers but uh, apparently my model doesn't I don't know why for some reason it doesn't anyways it's a good thing that it doesn't um, so I had removed it and I checked it out so it doesn't have those uh, screws so we're gonna go ahead and directly flip the laptop over I'm just gonna give a closer look uh, just once more to see that we have removed all the screws because we don't want to you know stress anything unless and until it's not open so yeah I've got all of the screws out and what we're gonna need to do is uh, what you're gonna need to do is now take your smaller screwdriver the flat one and you're going to start prying this out the plastic uh, from the sides slowly you don't want to uh, put a lot of pressure and you don't want to get a little, you don't want to get really rough with this thing so you want to be easy with this you want to go easy with this thing and you don't want to stress it out so you just want to go easy and you just want to pry it out just want to put it inside and once you get it inside just start you know can be a little tough it is a little tough and I'm a little scared because I don't want to scratch the surface or anything like that so I'm gonna be really really easy with it so you just need to do that and you need to separate this uh, plastic from the base so I'm just going to do that because it requires careful uh, observation and I'm just going to do it and I'm going to get back. Okay guys, so I opened all the screws. So just one thing I would like to tell you guys is that some models do have screws underneath these rubbers. So please check your model. Please check under the rubbers before uh, trying to take out the cover because some models do have that as far as I've seen in other videos and after that you can just pull out this hatch for me there was no screws over here and i just pulled out the hatch but it was a little tight in the center uh, but after giving it a good pull and it just came out nothing broke of course thankfully nothing was uh, broken 
and uh, that's about it so you just take this out and now you have the laptop itself in all its glory of course um, you do have the hard drive here which is upgradable to an SSD if you want you do have two fans over here one for the GPU and one for the CPU with the heat sink running all over the motherboard you do have the lithium ion battery over here which will give you up to eight hours of battery life like I said in my unboxing video and then you have one RAM slot over here and the other one is over here so you can upgrade up to 16 GB you can upgrade on this laptop which is really really good and that's about it um, so Intel i5 and then here is your uh, new memory in um, this is uh, 4 gigabytes uh, 23 2133 megahertz same as this one but this is 8 meg 8 gigabytes so you can install this now I'm gonna just show you how easy it is you just take this and align it with the um, this marking over here aligns with this one so make sure it's like that and you just push it inside real good and you can see it's, it's gone inside once it's gone inside you can just press it down and these pins lock in place and that's about it so one thing I'd like to advise you guys is before putting the uh, cover back on you know just make sure just uh, you know just turn the laptop over and just make sure that the RAM is showing up because sometimes you know the RAM can be defective or you might have done something wrong you might have not installed it properly so it might not show up so you just want to check that before uh, uh, before closing everything because you don't want to go again again to open the whole thing okay guys um, now I have checked it and the RAM is working and after that you know just uh, take the cover and put the cover back on just press it into its place just like we open it you're just gonna have to press it in place you just press it all the way around and it just clips back on this, the way it was originally after that you just uh, screw the screws back in place whichever you have removed and that's about it you're done you have installed the RAM and it's simple as that so thank you guys for watching do hit that like button if you like this video and do the, leave me a comment if you have any questions or queries for me i'll be more than happy to answer it to you and do subscribe to my channel it really help me out see you next time